the Lord, everybody. God is surely great, and he is greatly to be praised. This is your girl, Janelle Thomas, again, coming to you for another, another great praise and worship session. Shout out again to Reverend Chandler. Reverend Chandler, I love you. Thank you again for this opportunity. So we just going to lift up the name of Jesus. We're going to lift up the name of Jesus because his name is worthy. His name is worthy of all glory and honor and praise. Hallelujah. So we just going to open up with a prayer um, really quick. So Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just come to you as humbly as I can just to say thank you, God. Thank you for everything, oh Lord. Thank you for what you've done, oh Lord, and what you're going to do, oh Lord, in the midst of everything, oh God. Lord, <clears throat> once again, we just we just come to you, oh Lord. We just come to you with our hearts open, oh God, and our minds open, God, to seek you, Lord. So, Lord, just be in the midst of it all, Lord, and we just give you all glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <clears throat>
shout hallelujah glory to god because every praise is to our god he is our healer he is our deliverer he is our savior yes he is hallelujah yes he is praise the lord so how many guys know that lord our lord is our everything Tomorrow, say. 
me up. Oh yeah, saw me on my way. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Listen, he's the joy of my foundation. Yes, he is. He's the joy. Yes, he is. Oh, he woke me. Yeah, and started. He woke me up. He woke me up this morning. Yeah, started me on. He woke me up. He woke me up. Didn't he do it? Started me on. He woke me up this morning. Yeah. He woke me up this morning. Yeah, started me on. He woke me up. Woke me up this morning, started me on my way. He didn't, he didn't have to do it, but he did. Come on, give God a hand clap. I have a word that I want to share with you this morning, and it comes from the book of John chapter 8. Please pray with me. You are the potter, and I am the clay. Have your way, have, have your way. way. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my, my strength, strength and my, my redeemer. redeemer. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, say so. so. Yeah. Somebody ought to say amen. Amen, amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I'm sharing with you from the word of God in the book of John chapter 8. I've already read the passage of scripture in its entirety. So just allow me to unpackage what the scripture says. Uh, from verse number one, it says that uh, he retired to the Mount of Olives. Uh, now it's important for you to un understand some background to this. Uh, in the previous chapter, chapter seven, we see that Jesus uh, has to defend himself, uh, defend his record, defend his anointing. He has to defend himself uh, because there are Sarah's um Pharisees and scribes uh, who are plotting to kill him. They are ready to get rid of him and they are challenging his every move. Uh, and so what we find uh, is that after a full day of working and full day of sharing the good news and defending himself, the Bible says that he goes to the Mount of Olives. Uh, now I don't know what he did in the Mount of Olives, uh, but I believe that he probably rested. Uh, that's one thing I want to share with you after you've done your work it's important to get some rest uh, do me a favor and touch your neighbor and say get some rest get some rest uh, uh, when you put that work in and you're doing your job you got to get some rest you need an opportunity for you to get revitalized uh, and that's what Jesus did uh, because in the next verse in chapter in chapter 8 verse number 2 it says early in the morning uh, he goes to the temple uh, oh now I, I'm feeling good a little bit because uh, it's early in the morning on Sunday uh, right. and we are at the temple uh, what did he do he went to teach and preach uh, what did he do he went to share the good news of Amen. love and Amen. reconciliation uh, and there were people that gathered uh, to be there in his presence uh, can I put a pin right there for all of the preachers uh, who are in uh, the place uh, I want to encourage you uh, that it's important that whatever food uh, that you are going to use to feed the flock of God uh, that is good food uh, because if it is good food uh, people are going to want to get more uh, they're going to want to get fed uh, one thing that I learned about Jesus uh, is that he didn't have no games no gimmicks uh, he did not have to try to coerce people to do the things that he wanted them to do uh, he just simply told them that God is love uh, and love is God uh, and that was enough for people uh, to say I want more uh, of what he's teaching uh, listen you ain't got to put on no show for nobody uh, you just simply need to preach the unadulterated word of God uh, and tell the good news uh, that you are redeemable uh, yeah. that he will set you free uh, that yeah. he died for you uh, yeah. that he loves you uh, yeah. just for who you are uh, to somebody uh, that God loves them uh, and that if God loves them uh, they gonna be alright yeah. uh, all of the people that you look at the text uh, people are gathering uh, they're gathering at the feet of Jesus uh, and Jesus is teaching and preaching uh, but as he is doing his work uh, he gets distracted uh, touch your neighbor uh, say watch out for the distractions uh, look the at distraction. that text one more time and you will see uh, that the scribes uh, and the Pharisees uh, bring a woman uh, who is caught in adultery
victory uh, to Jesus. Uh, let me give you a breakdown. Uh, he's teaching and preaching and then he gets interrupted uh, and he gets a uh, what I call uh, a distraction. Uh, now listen, uh, you got to be careful of allowing uh, what distracts you in life uh, because if you're not amen, careful, amen, uh, amen. then it will knock you off course. Uh, but Jesus, uh, he is able to adjust. Uh, he's able to be flexible uh, in order to use the distraction for the good uh, of the people who are there watching uh, and observing uh, how he's going to handle it. Uh, but listen, all of us can't do that. Uh, you ain't there yet. Uh, you ain't able to uh, be able to look at the distraction and use it for your good. Uh, some of us get distracted and we just get knocked off course. Uh, we are no longer on track. Uh, some of us, when we get distracted by what people got to say, uh, we get distracted uh, by their judgmental ways. Uh, we get distracted uh, well, by how they tear us down. Uh, we get distracted uh, by what they have to say about what we used to be and what we used to do. We yeah, get distracted yeah, 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 yeah. by everything. Uh, but I'm here to encourage you, my brothers and sisters. Uh, I need you to stay focused like Jesus. Jesus, uh, and keep your eyes on the prize. Uh, you have an anointing over your life. Uh, you got purpose over your life. Uh, you are an eagle. Uh, so why are you still spending time with the chickens? Uh, let me say that one, and one more time. Uh, you are an eagle. Uh, so why are you spending time with the chickens? Uh, you're supposed to be soaring uh, above them. Uh, you have a higher level of anointing. Uh, you don't need to waste your time. Uh, and spend time in the mud with pigs. Oh my you are not Come called on. to wallow in the mud yeah. and sling dirt when people try to sling dirt toward you. Yeah, God yeah, yeah. is calling you to a higher purpose. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I feel like preaching this morning. Preach. Yeah. Listen, family. Jesus now has to deal with this woman and these Pharisees and scribes. Uh-huh. I like this now. I like this. Yeah. Not once does the woman speak. Not once yeah. do she try to defend herself. Yeah. Uh, not once uh, do she say they lying on me. Uh, yeah. The woman is there the whole time uh, during the interaction between Jesus and the scribes and Pharisees. Uh, they say to Jesus, uh, Jesus, uh, this woman is caught in the very act uh, of uh, adultery. Uh, uh -huh. Now it's important for me to unpack this thing, Sister Puckham. Uh, adultery uh, is sexual intercourse uh, with uh, a person who is not your husband or your wife. Amen, uh, amen. Uh, yeah, I, am I right about it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I may have some people in the congregation uh, who have slipped in the wrong direction. Uh, uh, yeah, we got people in the community who may have slipped uh, in the wrong direction. Uh, listen, uh, it's a sin. Uh, and everybody knows it's a sin. Uh, and sins uh, are the wages of death. Uh, but guess what I got good news for you baby uh, hold on just a little while uh, yeah, cause I'm yeah. gonna get to the end uh, this woman did not have a word to say uh, she did not admit nor did she deny uh, that she was caught in adultery uh, she just simply stood there uh, but guess what Jesus did uh, not once did he address her uh, and her sin uh, he kept his eye on the scribe uh, and the Pharisee uh, what are you saying pastor somebody always got something to say about you uh, but you ain't always got to open up your mouth uh, and talk to them uh, it's a waste of your time yeah. it's a waste of your anointing it's, uh, it's a waste it's of your purpose yeah. you ain't got to answer to everything that people call you uh, what's most important is what the Lord calls you yeah, uh, yeah. and he calls you uh, a child of God yes, yes, yes. watch this now they say to Jesus she's in adultery what you gonna do uh -oh. The law of Moses says she ought to be stoned. Right. Don't the law of Moses says that she ought to die. Yeah. What you gonna do, Jesus? Gonna 
They're trying to trick Jesus. Uh, they're trying to lure Jesus uh, into uh, a theological battle. Uh, they're trying to lure Jesus. They're trying to knock him off course. Uh, yeah, you yeah, got to be yeah. careful of the snakes in your life. Uh, well, we all got snakes in our lives. They well, slither in uh, and they try to push our buttons. They try to get us to say things uh, that is out of character. They try to get us and manipulate us. Uh, watch out for the snakes in your life life uh, you better learn some discernment uh, and be able to test the spirit by the spirit yeah. uh, what jesus now does uh, is that he addresses the scribe uh, and the pharisees uh, uh, ah yeah. Uh, yeah that's when the bible says he got onto his knees uh, and begins to write something uh, in the ground uh, now listen i don't know what the man wrote uh, there is nothing in the scripture that says what he wrote uh, but whatever he did uh, he then gets up uh, can i park right there for a moment uh, what I love about what Jesus just showed us uh, is that uh, he took his time uh, in answering uh, the naysayers uh, he took his time uh, in answering uh, the player haters uh, he took his time in other words uh, he did not have diarrhea of the mouth uh, some of us talk too much uh, oh, can I write about it uh, some of us talk too much uh, Jesus took a step back uh, looked at the situation in its entirety uh, and dealt with it. He thought about uh, how he was going to respond. Uh, I got a question, Scott. Uh, when is the last time uh, when an altercation occurred uh, that you took a step back uh, and thought about how you were going to respond? Uh, some of us are just so hot-headed. Uh, we just got to say something. Uh, we just got to defend ourselves. Uh, but that's not what the Lord is teaching you. Uh, that's not what he's teaching me. Uh, he's showing us uh, by example uh, that when somebody accuses you uh, when somebody accuses somebody else uh, don't jump to conclusions uh, take a step back uh, yeah. think about uh, what is being said uh, think about uh, well, how you're going to respond uh, and then move accordingly that's right. that's right the first time he got on his knees he wrote something he then gets up he pauses right <laughs> And then he speaks. Come on. These men tried to trap Jesus. Yes. As I said to you in chapter 7, they are ready to plot. They're plotting to kill him. Yes. And so all they need is just one thing one coming thing. out of his mouth yes. that seems blasphemous, Come on. Yes. that seems out of order, right, right. that seems against the law. Yes. And they're going to say, oh, yeah, now we got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like this. Uh, can, I, can I explain the law of Moses, right? Uh, Jesus, if he would say that the woman is going to be stoned according to the law of Moses, wow. he would be in alignment with the right. law of Moses, That's right? right. Amen. Right? Yeah. Right. You think that he would be all right with that, right? Mm -hmm. But here's the problem. Jesus has already been seen with harlots. A harlot is a prostitute. Jesus has already been seen with publicans. He's already been seen with low-like folk. He's already been seen with street walkers. That would mean that his credibility would be undermined if he just go ahead and follow the law. Because for his ministry, he has not been following the law according to how they see the law should be followed. Uh, are you with me? Uh, oh, that means that now his credibility is uh, on the line. Uh, however, uh, if Jesus then says uh, that this woman should not be stoned, uh, that means that he's not following the law. Uh, that means that he can be arrested. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? They're trying to build a case uh, and they're trying to conspire and get other people uh, to get him killed and murdered. Uh, but Jesus too smart for that. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, uh, as a Christian as a Christian uh, you ought to be too smart for that too uh, am I right about it uh, some of us uh, I need you to use your intelligentsia uh, your intellect uh, and understand the plot when the 
the enemy tries to trip you up if you can see the hole that's being dug for you I don't want you to step over it I want you to go around it and the only way you're going to be able to go around it is if you use discernment and the only way for you to have discernment is if you go to God in prayer and the only way for you to go to God in prayer is for you to understand that you can't live without him right. that you need God Amen. you need him to order your steps yeah. you need him to direct your path yeah. I wish I had a witness yeah. Aaron Scott who said I need him I need, I need thee I need every it. hour yeah. I need thee I need is it. there a witness yeah. who can simply say I need the Lord I need, Lord. I need God's direction yes, I. I need his providence yeah. I need his healing yeah. I need yeah. his miracles yeah. 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 I need yeah. his love I need it all. Yeah. yeah yeah I need it all you can't get the sermon if you don't spend time with the master. Amen, amen. You can't identify the plots and schemes of the enemy if you don't spend time with Jesus. Amen. We all, including pastor, you know, I, the higher level that I go spiritually, the more mature I become, the more schemes the devil has against me he don't change his ways but he intensifies his approach uh -huh. the bible is very clear the enemy has come to kill skip steal and destroy that's right he does not change his amen, ways amen, amen. but he will intensify his approach yeah yeah you got to be able to discern. And what we see in the text is that Jesus is able to discern. This issue really ain't got nothing to do with the woman. But everything for them to try to trap him up. Set him up. And get him arrested and tried before his time has come. You see, Jesus is going to get tried. He, he's going to get uh, shackled. He's going to get uh, arrested. Uh, but it ain't going to happen on their time. It's going to happen on when he's ready. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh, it's going to happen when he's ready. So uh, what does Jesus do? Uh, and most of us, we would take the opportunity to get into an argument. Come on. Jesus don't do that. What Jesus does, he takes another step back. Touch your neighbor and say, take another step back. You ain't got the answer to them. Take another step back. You ain't got to get into no argument. Take another step back. What you arguing for? You wasting your time. Take a step back. What Jesus did is take a step back, got on his knees, and begin to write in the ground. And as he's writing in the ground, that's when he then gets up. And he says, you are without sin. Cast your first stone. Didn't he say that? Yeah. Lord have mercy. I feel my help coming. He said if you are without sin, cast the first stone. He wrote something in the ground. I don't know what he wrote. But the Bible says that the men began to leave. They began to leave. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Something convicted them that they recognize. Wait a minute. This woman sinned, but so did I. I've done my own dirt. I've done my own devilish ways. And I'm not innocent. Some how Jesus uh, was able to get them to see themselves uh, and they began to walk away. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh, but here's where I begin to praise the Lord. Uh, when Jesus gets back up uh, and he looks at the woman, uh, he says where are your accusers? Uh, where are they? Uh, where did they go? Uh, uh -huh. Why aren't they here anymore? Uh, this woman, uh, she don't know what's going on. All she knows is that people left. Uh -huh. they, that these are the ones that accuse her of being an adulterous woman. These are the ones who found her in bed with another man. These are the ones uh, who pulled her out of her comfort zone uh, and embarrassed her. She knows uh, what's going on, uh, but she don't know why they left. Uh, and Jesus says to her, where are your accusers? Uh, she says, I don't know. 
He says, where are they that condemned you? She says, I don't know. And instead of the Lord saying to her, I condemn you. Instead of the Lord telling her, you going to hell. Instead of the Lord saying to her, I judge you. Instead of the Lord telling her, you are good for nothing. Instead of the Lord telling her, you are a prostitute. Instead of the Lord trying to tear her down. The Lord said to her, I will not condemn you as well. Somebody say yeah. yeah. Say yeah. yeah. Say yeah. Give him a shout. Yeah. Give him a praise. God, through his son Jesus said, I will not condemn you. Yeah. The story is told. Yeah of a priest Come on. who one day went to college and the priests did some things that they weren't pleased with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. They lived a life where they had one foot in mm -hmm. and one foot out. Wow. <laughs> the priests went to school for theology the priests <clears throat> spent time with the Lord, yes. but the, the world was still in the priest. And as much as he wanted to do right, he always did wrong. Yeah, yeah. He did some secret things, Brother Pucker, yeah. that he was not pleased with. Yeah. And so what the enemy did is that after the priest asked for forgiveness and repented of his sin, he carried around guilt. Well, he carried around guilt that prevented him from truly being free to do the work that Christ assigned to his hands. Right. One day he walks up to or he comes to meet a woman who is a prophetess. This woman slays people in the spirit. He's heard about this woman. He thought that she was uh, not the real deal. Uh, and so he wants to challenge her. He says, all right, madam, you, you're supposed to be a prophetess. Uh, well, if this is true, why don't you tell me what I did uh, when I was in college? Uh, tell me what I did. Uh, and the woman said, well, sir, uh, I'm going to have to pray about this thing. Uh, I'll get back to you in about three days uh, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm going to get back to you. Uh, and so uh, a few days go by, Sister Ashley, and, uh, and uh, the priest comes in contact with this prophetess woman. Uh, and he says to her all right madam uh, you've had your three days uh, and i want to know uh, what did the lord say to you uh, and then she said oh sir uh, the lord told me that i'm fearfully and wonderfully made uh, the lord told me that he will orchestrate my footsteps uh, yeah, the yeah. lord told me that no weapon formed against me will prosper yeah, yeah, the lord yeah. told me uh, that i will have life and life more abundantly yeah. uh, the lord told me that i can do all things through christ who gives me strength. Yes. Uh, the Lord told me uh, that I will be the head and not the tail. Uh, right. he's, he's going, she's going through all uh, of these different scriptures. Uh, and the priest then says to her, wait a minute. Uh, I didn't ask what the Lord said to you for <laughs> you. Uh, I'm asking you what the Lord said to you about me. Uh, I want to know what did I do? Uh, uh, what did I do in my college days? Uh, and she said, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to get to that. Uh, uh, this is what the Lord told me. Are you ready? Uh, he says, yes, I'm ready. Huh? She said, are you sure you're ready? He said, yes, I'm ready. Huh? She said, are you really sure that you're ready for the word of the God, of the, of the Lord? Huh? And he said, listen, ma'am, you're making me mad now. Huh? Tell me huh, what the Lord says. Huh? And she looks at him square in the eye. Huh? And she says to him, Sister Mincy, huh? the Lord told me to tell you, I don't know. Huh? Oh, my God. Wait a minute here. You told me that you was a prophet. Huh? She said, wait a minute. Huh? When the Lord forgives you uh, he forgets uh, what you did uh, you ought to give God a shout yeah. uh, over the fact that when you repented uh, and you gave your life to him yes, uh, that what you did yesterday uh, yes. won't be held against you uh, that the blood uh, the blood uh, yes. will wash you uh, the blood yes. uh, will clean you uh, yes. the blood uh, will free you uh, the blood uh, will restore you uh, the blood the blood will redeem you. The blood will help you. The blood will satisfy 
you yeah. are. Say yeah. 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 yeah! Say yeah! yeah. yeah. Say yeah! yeah. yeah. Your neighbor say, I forgot, I forgot. Ah, I, forgot, I, forgot. I, forgot. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I didn't forget. <laughs> it don't matter. That's right. And that's why Jesus said to the woman, mm. I know I will not condemn you. That's right. But I want you to go forth and sin no more. No more. No more. Yeah. Ah. Coming out of here.